All right, my name's Natasha. We're gonna do Pilates mat class today. Um, I'm gonna use a prop. I was gonna do a yoga block, but I figured maybe not everyone has a yoga block at home. But I'm thinking everyone might have some kind of throw pillow. So if you can go ahead and go to your couch or your bed and grab some kind of throw pillow, that is the prop we're gonna use. We'll kind of use that throughout the class. Um, maybe not the whole time, but for a lot of it. So a throw pillow, it'll be pillow Pilates today. Thanks for joining me. Um, a couple things I always say at the beginning of my Pilates classes, we are engaging the muscles and putting tension in our body, and that is kind of up to you. I can't force you to do that. So when we're in some kind of extension, we're really kind of engaging the shoulders, the triceps, same thing with the legs, the quads are on. We're gonna imagine the whole class is done through mud, water, honey, something that you have to really force the engagement to push through. So it's not just swinging and flailing around. It's really an active body from the core to the limbs. Um, and the other thing is the Pilates breath. So we force the air out of the mouth and it can be any sound. It can be a shh, sss, whatever. I just usually blow it out. But that exhale breath, really engages the muscles in the core, those internal muscles. So when you push the air out, you're firing the belly in, really kind of zipping up the rib cage. It almost feels like when you're laughing or coughing, but really activating um, and forcing the tension to happen. So we'll do a little standing leg work series, some balance, and then everything else will be, will be done down on the mat. Let's bring our feet um, maybe into a little wider than a second position and just take some rolls in the shoulders, letting go of any tension, stress in the neck. Draw the navel in, gentle tuck of the tail, and just start to roll the shoulders forward, back, open up the heart proud, roll the shoulders behind the chest, good. And then tuck the chin down, kind of like you're gonna do a half rag doll, rolling halfway down. Soften the knees, let your body just dangle, like you're just kind of hanging out, but you're engaging the core so the back is protected. Big breath in, and then halfway rolling back up. Do that again. So lift up through the chest, proud heart, tuck of the tail, pull the belly in. Just a halfway fold. Doesn't have to be deep. Maybe give those shoulders a little shake. Keep pulling the belly in and up. If you can go deeper and your hamstrings feel great, go ahead and take it down lower. Shake the head out. No, yes, deep breath in, and exhale, deep breath in. I don't know about you, but I've been noticing, I've been taking some shallow breaths and just needing to take some deep breaths. It's a stressful time, so let's just let that all go, try and get into the body, into the moment, not think about anything else. Inhale the arms up. We're gonna grab the left wrist and just give it a gentle pull up and over, maybe take that gaze up. Draw the navel in, pull the rib cage in, pull the arm over, try and keep your body in one plane. Good, right over, stack. Switch sides, inhale up, exhale, stretch it over. You can swivel a little bit and see if you can really open up the shoulder and the chest and then take the gaze up. Active legs, active core. Let's bring the arms behind the back body. Interlace the fingers. If you can, you can press the palms together. And then just move here, whatever range of motion we can find to open the chest and stretch the shoulders. We're gonna bend one elbow and maybe you can hook it across the hip. And it's okay if it doesn't make it there. Take a moment here. Draw that shoulder back and then switch. So we'll pull the palms and see if you can bring them over and around the hip. Take a deep breath in here. So discomfort's okay, but we don't wanna feel pain, right? Exhale, and good. Swing those arms out, give yourself a nice pat on the back. Good, and then we'll stay there. Whatever hand is over, just walk your hands to the scapula. See if you can wrap your fingers around the wings of your back. Take a breath here. And exhale, switch. Whatever cross was over, switch that and crawl your fingers. See if you can wrap around the shoulder blades, the wings of your shoulders. Take a deep breath in and a big sigh out. Good, circle the wrists a little bit, maybe a little roller coaster and some rolls and some blinks. So we do a lot of stuff on the hands. We, will, we do want the forearms and the wrists really prepped. Good, blink, 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 circle and we're gonna pick up our throw pillow. We are gonna be using a pillow for a lot of the class, all right? 
So we're gonna start, let's see if you can see me, with a deep plie. Open the toes wide and see if you can just sit down here and then pull the elbows out. All right, so we're gonna try and pull the knees physically backwards as you tuck the tailbone under and pull the belly in. Now bring the, the hands and the pillow right to your chest and we'll just press away. So you can't really see me. I'm gonna exhale and push straight forward almost like I'm punching out in front of me. Get inhale, exhale. We're gonna build heat really quickly here. Inhale and exhale. Again, almost like you're trying to punch forward out from the chest. Let's sit a little deeper and try four more. Exhale for three. Every time you push that air out, are you suctioning that belly towards the spine? And hold it here. Now like you're driving a car, right arm over, left arm over, or maybe even beyond. Can you twist and can you sit a little bit deeper? We're going right into the legs. Big exhale breaths for four. Here's three. How are their shoulders feeling? Inner thighs. Anything hamstrings? <laughs> Last set. And one. Pull the palms in. All right. So we're going to stay right here and we're going to start to pop up one heel up. Drop it down. One heel up. Let's swing the elbows out so the deltoids are on. Heel up. Heel down. Heel up. You can add a little pulse to that if that feels okay. Inhale. Good. Breathe and pulse. I'm already feeling this in the legs. Good. Take a couple more sets. Take a heel up, heel down, heel up, heel down. Sit lower. Good. I'll get you. You can come out of your legs in just a moment. Straight up. We're going to take this pillow and stretch it over to the side body. So you might bring your toes forward a little bit and then just use the side body to retract it back up, to hold it over. Exhale up. Reach it over. The knees can be soft. Exhale it up. One more time. Side stretch. Activation of the side body, obliques, zip it up. Other way, up and over. No, you can't really see me, there we go. <laughs> Exhale, lift. Inhale, up and over. We're not collapsing into the left side, we're creating space. Zip it up, two more. Side bend, stretch, go beyond your comfort zone. Zip it up, take it over, and then zip it up. All right, we're going back down. This time we're gonna take our side body and try and touch our elbow to the thigh or even lower if you can. And we're just taking it side body. Zip up. Side body. <laughs> side body. Four, three, zip, two, zip, one. Nice. We're gonna start to twist here. Sit a little deeper. Pull those knees wide apart if you can. Get the hips to open up for four, three, two, back to the beginning. Push it out, pull it in. Push it out, pull it in. Four, three, exhale, two, hold it out, one. Both heels are going to rise. This is awkward because you can't see me, but I'm going to hold the pillow right out in front of my face, and I'm going to balance on my tippy toes. It's going to get hard and shaky. See if you can suffer through little baby pulses. Eight. Seven, six, five, you're shaking, four, I am, three, fight it, two, hold it, one, drop the heels, lift the heels, drop the heels, up, down, both as high as you can prop, for two, last one, one, oh my, release it, swing the hips out, swing the upper body, breathe, let any tension drain out of the neck, the spine, bend the knees and then ragdoll up, nice, and easy. All right, we're not quite done. We're going to take that pillow out and go back to plie, and then you're going to take a little curtsy. So plie, curtsy. The pillow goes out, and it goes up. <laughs> take it over. I'm kind of laughing at this pillow thing, but I wanted to use a prop today just for fun. Good. Open, <sighs> curtsy, plie, curtsy. A little bit of bar work to start to get that heart rate up. I know, I don't know about you, but I've been sitting and laying in bed a lot more than normal. <laughs> open, tap, open, tap. Last two, and then we're gonna stay right here, all right? So, like a deadlift, we're gonna zip halfway forward, and then straighten spine, shoulders over hips. Halfway forward, plug the belly in, and then lift. Both knees are bent. Two, one, and hold. 
pop the front heel up and pulse for eight, seven strong shoulders. Feel that in the external of the gluteus medius. Four, three, two, one, drop. All right, so we're gonna still balance and that back heel is gonna take a hamstring curl. Knee tucks into knee, pull the pillow down. You can drop it for a moment, palms to heart center. You're hugging the heel in and we're gonna pulse right here for four, belly in, three, two, one. See if you can balance. Extend it out very carefully. Warrior three, or in Pilates we call it a balancing stick. Three, two, one. Fingers slow down, take a nice lunge. If it feels okay in your body, you can take a nice soft bounce. Kind of moving through water, engaging the muscles, and then releasing them, <sighs> engaging and melting. <sighs> nice work. All right, we're gonna come back up. Step it together, grab your pillow, ragdoll. Push the palms up, start it over. Plie, fourth, plie, fourth. So we have a wide second and a fourth position. Okay, <sighs> we breathing? How are those legs? We usually don't do a lot of legs in Pilates, so I'm starting out here. Hold it, other side. Get to the other side, right? <sighs> Halfway forward, squeeze it up. Use your back body. Bend a little deeper. Halfway forward, <sighs> lift. Two more, dip, squeeze it up. Shoulders over hips, both knees bended, and you're about 45 degrees with those knees. Now pop the front heel up. Pulse this out. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my, lower down. Straighten out the legs. Come into a balance. Back, knee, hamstring curls. Woo. Hug the knee into the back knee. You can set the pillow down. Press the palms to heart center. So this little baby pulse. Are you hugging the heel in? You should feel the back hamstring turn on. Four, three, two, one. Take your time. Balancing stick, extension. Maybe the arms too. Breathe, pull the belly in. Reach long in opposition. Soften the knee, bring the fingertips down and take a lunge, stretch. Melting the hip flexor and quad. Straightening, feeling the front hamstring. So it might feel like a nice, easy bounce if it feels okay, but we're not just like, bobbing around, right? It's, in, it's controlled, it's engaged. Two more, move in space. Engage, exhale, see if you can soften something. Maybe it's the face, maybe it's the hip and quad. Nice work, let's step it in. Grab your pillow on the way up and take a rag doll. All right, we're gonna put the pillow in between our legs. We're gonna take a little squat series. So I'll face sideways, squeeze the belly, Pull the ribs in, push the palms out. We're gonna sit back in our chair. So I'm pretty short, so this pillow is like my whole legs. <laughs> Pull it back, and then onto the tiptoes, balance. Heels, <sighs> toes. Hips back behind knees if you can. Exhale, balance, squeeze the inner thighs. Inhale, <sighs> oh, come up on those toes. Exhale, two more here, inhale. Exhale, inhale, hold it at the top. Good, now bend the knees, keep the shoulders lifted. Bring the palms to heart center, we're gonna pulse here. How high can you lift those heels off the mat? Glue those inner thighs, really like you're trying to suction and touch your inner thighs together. Four, three, two, one, sit deeper. Pulse four, three, higher heels, two, one. Shaking, fight through it. Bring the heels down, flat back, half fold. Squeeze the belly, breathe. And we push those palms back, engaging the triceps. The knees can be soft if you have tight hamstrings. If not, work them back a little bit deeper and we're gonna crisscross those hands behind the body like you're trying to touch thumbs. One hand over the other. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Swing them out. Little crosses here, feel the deltoids. Shoulders and lats, eight, seven, six, five, 
four, three, two, one. Tippy toe balance. One more time backwards into your low squat. Hold it. Come up a little higher. Tuck the tailbone, draw the shoulders over the hips. Come higher, squeeze the inner thighs, knees touch. Ooh, isometric holds. And bring it down. We're gonna keep the, the pillow in the legs, all right? We're gonna start with that Pilates plank walk that we did last week. Tuck the chin, roll down. Walk out, start to spread your fingers wide. Turn the index finger forward. We have a tight, a slight rotation as you draw the crease of the elbows forward. Push the shoulders down and then tuck the tailbone. All right, squeeze the inner thighs. Can you bring your right heel and balance it on your, sorry, your right toes and balance them on your left heel? Pull the belly in and switch. Left toes, tap right heel. Firm quads, firm belly, shoulders protracting, crown of the head, reaching forward, gaze to the top of the mat, and down. Walk back. When you get there, we're gonna flip the palms upside down, even if that means you're bending the knees a lot, or you can straighten them. Take a moment here, wiggle the fingers. We're gonna ragdoll up. Nice, all right. So if you have more space than me, we're gonna do some lunges in between. So I'm gonna scoot forward and pull the pillow out. All right, so first I'm gonna take 90 degree knees, and then I'm gonna zip up. 90 degree knees, zip. All right, so we're gonna do a fun little move, and it does take some brain power. If you take my classes, you know what it is. It's called a suitcase swing. So I'm gonna take the pillow in my right hand. My left leg is gonna step back. My right arm is gonna swing back. Then I'm gonna switch. My left leg and right arm are gonna swing back. So I know it's a little brain teaser, but once you get the flow, it really makes sense. Squeeze, and you need to turn on your obliques. Usually I do this with heavy weights, so you really have to fire so you don't go with the pillow or the weight. So engage through the side body, strong legs. Let's do four more. Heart rate climbing. Three, exhale. Two, exhale. One, hold it, hold it here. Top front heel, four, down, three, down, two, down, hold it. Back knee taps, four, three, two, one, step it in. I promise we'll get out of the legs after this. Take it back, hold it low, front heel, four, three, high as you can, two, high as you can, hold, pulse it, back knee taps, four, three, two, one, oh yeah, step it in. Put it back in between your legs, rag doll over the body, walk it out. Spread your fingers, crease of the elbow forward. Start to push the shoulders down and tuck the tailbone under. Let's bring the knees down, up. Tap, lift, tap, lift, tap, lift. Hold the knees down, glue your feet together. So turn on the hamstrings as you hug the heels back. Bring the ribs, the elbows to your ribs, push away. We'll start modify, four, three, Two, one, hold it, sit it back. All right, we're gonna get rid of the pillow for a moment. Keep it close. Extend the child's pose. Two knees, chest, chin. Find your hover, hug the heels in. All right, it's gonna get more challenging and you can always skip or stay with the modification. Do what works for you. All right, come into knees, chest, chin. Can we lift one leg? Lower, hug, lift the other knee, lower, push back. Take a moment, we're gonna try that again. Almost like you're stagging the legs in opposition. So, knees, chest, chin, hug the heels in. Lift one knee, pull it out. Lift the other knee, pull it down. Hug the heels in, push away. Elbows, touch mat, palms to the base of the neck. Thumb touches neck. Breathe into the back body. You can circle the wrists here. All right, we're gonna move into a downward facing dog. Spread your fingers, tuck your toes, march those feet. Stretching through the balls of the foot, one foot down, prop up high onto the tippy toes like we've been doing. 
bring the chest towards the toes like you're trying to touch the toes, lift the tailbone. It's okay if it looks more like this, wherever you are. Good. And we're gonna do that same move. So we're gonna lift one leg, bend the knee in like you're doing a hamstring curl, bend the bottom knee and pull the knees in opposition. Can we pry the knees apart, squeeze the belly, push the shoulders away. Now, knee to chest, bending hover. Knee to chest, bending hover. Get that bottom knee close to the earth. One more time. Bending hover, push the chest away. Sink, sink, sink. Let's go ahead and land. Come down to the forearms. Bind your hands. Bend the knee. Little donkey kick. Hold it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right knee taps right shoulder and then cross it behind. Hug the heel in. Tap the shoulder or the tricep or the elbow, something. Hug it in, two more. Tap the shoulder, hug the heel in, cross it behind the other leg, hug it in, twist it back, relax it down. All right, so this is gonna be a pretty deep hip stretch and you might wanna sit on your pillow if your hips are really tight. So I have one leg crossed on top. I'm gonna sit on my pillow and try and lower both sit bones and cross one knee on top of the other, make sense? Take a deep breath in here and side out. We could take a little twist both ways and then we'll unwind, walk it back. Cross one leg under the other, cross one leg and then hold it there. Can you bring pinky toes to touch? Lift the hips high, look forward and start to lower the hips and twist them. Shoulders stay steady, squeeze it back. Twist down, bring out the belly, hug the hips in, squeeze the booty too, it's not gonna look cute. Squeeze, hold. All right, so this is gonna be different in everyone's body. If you can, we'll try to sink the hips, push away. Lower the hips, maybe even touch the floor. <sighs> Zip it up. One more, inhale. Push the shoulders down, squeeze back to the top. All right, we gotta go onto the other leg and hopefully I remember everything. Left leg up, bend both knees. So you're gonna bend the bottom knee, you're gonna bend the top knee, your hamstrings are on on the top. We're gonna bring our chest towards our toes like you're trying to push the mat forward. Plug the belly up, keep pulling the knees in opposition. Now knee to nose or chest, back. Knee to nose, hover, come back to the hover. Inhale, exhale. All right, this time we're gonna slowly land down, down. Readjust if you need to walk the hands closer together, all right? Hands under shoulders, knee under hip, little donkey kick pulse, pull the belly in, push the shoulders back. Ribs are not just hanging, we're really active, right? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Lower down, give your wrists a break. Knee to shoulder, cross, twist, Hug the heel in. Knee to shoulder, zip it up. Twist, tuck, hug it in. Zip it up, hug it in. Twist, hug the heel in. One more time. Zip, and twist. Hug that heel in. Here's where we're gonna walk back and have a seat. So if you have tight hips, this is gonna be pretty tough. Sit on your pillow here. See if you can prop out the bottom leg so you're not sitting on it, and you're trying to stack the knees. Pretty intense external rotation on the bottom, on both hips, really. Just breathe here, see if you can swivel and release. And then we'll take a twist, both ways. Hand twist, nice work. Let's finish up the series. I have an ant crawling on my mat. And come back. Come back through down dog and start to walk your toes, your foot under, under, and then hold. Make sure you're doing the opposite side you did last time. Can you get your pinky toes to sort of meet? Come high onto the toes, like you're a ballerina. Zip down, squeeze the booty, squeeze everything. Pull back, lower the hips, they'll start to swivel into a twist and you'll squeeze the butt cheeks. 
and squeeze, no one's watching, and lift, and then lower and hold, and now we're going to allow the hips to melt as you pry the heart through, and then zip up. Only go as good as it feels on your spine, right? It should feel nice. Shoulders away from ears, no earrings. Space. Zip up. One more. Inhale, pull the bat backwards. Zip. Press it back. Walk those feet. Now, nose to knee. Down dog, march. Nose to knee. Four more. Tuck it in. Can you touch your nose to your knee? Two more. Zip and zip. Pull it down, hover the knees, bounce for four, bounce three, bounce two, bounce one, land, stretch it back. Give your hips a little wiggle, circle out those wrists, swivel, breathe. All right, so just because we've been, I like cardio and we've been getting some heart rate climbing, we're going to try to jump to a little wide prayer squat and back to the knees. So you'll take it back and you'll just push off, try and land, and then come back. All right, just for fun, and if you want to skip it, you can rest. Push the shoulders down, prepare, engage, lift, land. Doesn't even have to look like anything fancy. Just jump the feet outside the hands. Oops, and down. All right, circle out those wrists. We're gonna have a seat. That was just to get you on your butt. And get the heart rate up. Take some breaths here. Hug the knees in. Walk your hands across the opposite ankle if you can. Tuck the chin. And take some breaths into the back body. <sighs> if your wrists are kind of feeling a little sore, circle them out. Nice. And we're going to get back to the pillow in just a moment. Lift the chest. Start to engage the core muscles here. And then I want you to just float those feet right above the mat, maybe an inch off the mat. So it's like a really hovering low boat. And then we're gonna come up halfway. And then hover, hug the heels in, turn on the hamstrings, turn on the core, the hip flexors, the quads. Halfway, hug balance, push it out, hug. Can you put your feet down? If your hip flexors are tight, there's, you'll probably be out here saying, what is she doing? But just try, hug the heels in. And maybe you could even try to rock onto your feet. Have a seat so we have this nice ankle mobility, hip flexors, quads. And if it's not happening for you, it's all good. You could even try to pull your feet back with your hands and maybe rock the shoulders forward. All right, so just have fun with it. Even if it doesn't work in your body, maybe one day it will. And it's worth gaining this extra flexibility in the hip flexors, strength, and the ankles, right? You want to be able to be down here, come back up, sit, stand, do all this stuff through our whole lives, right? All right, let's grab the pillow. I'll go diagonal, and we're gonna do the can-can before we go down. Make your heels light, and don't put too much tension in the feet. I don't want any toe cramps. Zip the knees over, zip the knees up. Other way, rotation, drop the knees. The pillow can go diagonal across and center. Twist, and lift, exhale, and zip back up. One more time, over, and lift. All right, if you feel like you could do that set again, go for that. If you want to make it a little harder, you know I do, pull it up. We'll try to tuck the knees, zip back up. Twist, hover, try not to touch the feet to the floor. Twist and hover, zip up, tuck and twist, exhale, lift. One more set, fight through it. You can always take a break if you need it. Tuck and lift. Can we tap the pillow for four? Three, give it a kick. Two, give it a kick. One, all right. Let's take a forward fold. Give yourself space on your mat. Shake out those legs. Let the hip flexors find some ease. You can swing the feet side to side, see if that helps. And then, depending on your flexibility, we'll just take it to a forward fold. So, maybe you're here. You can even put your, uh, the pillow on your belly and let the belly fold over. Double it up if you need more. Wherever you need to be to feel some ease and stretch in the hamstrings. Moment here. And then zip up tall. You know what's coming. We're going to start our Pilates slow roll. 
lift up tall, stack the spine, the shoulders on top of the hips. Now suction the belly button backwards. Imagine someone sitting on your feet and imagine this is very heavy so it's helping you into your roll vertebrae by vertebrae and then follow the pillow with your eyes, head lands. So we're gonna glue those heels down, we're gonna keep the quads on, we're gonna keep the ribs in and then take a stretch in the shoulders. Now zip back up, ribs towards hips, inhale. Exhale, tuck the chin, look at your toes. Imagine someone's helping you up and peel off. The more you can round the shoulders forward, the easier that will be. So use the weight of your head to round yourself. Lift up through straight front, and then your depth of an active forward fold stretch. So maybe that's here, and you're really turning the core on, or you can bring those the uh, belly to your thighs, but squeeze everything, and then stack. Big breath in, again. roll back, the heels will come with you, strong active arms. So even though this pillow doesn't weigh anything or weigh much, we have to turn on our muscles just to, to hold it. So it's bringing in some active engagement. So that's why I really like to use props, even if they're light, they just kind of force you to work a little harder. Straighten out the spine, take your forward fold, it doesn't have to look like mine. Squeeze up the body. Roll down one more time. Nice and controlled. See if you can press the space between the vertebrae down. Each one lands. Neutral spine, and then if you want, you can kind of come out of neutral and then zip back in, right? So the ribs and hips draw in towards one another and the belly activates. Tuck the chin. The more you can curl those shoulders forward, the easier it will be to lift your body weight. Ah. Nice, let's take a twist. Get off the flesh, rock onto the sit bones and twist. Let's do a double exhale pulse. So you can grip your mat, which is actually really your back, your pillow for grip strength if you're a climber. Straight, straight, good. Zip, twist, hold, double breath. And one more time. How are those arms feeling? Keep them active and let's throw, why not? Four. Three, straighten out the spine. Two, one. Can we catch this in the feet? I've never done this before, I'm just playing. Oh no, just see what happens. Throw, catch, I got it. Throw, <laughs> have some fun. Throw, catch, kind of. Throw, no. Balance the pillow on your shins. Can we do that? So if you need a little bit of help, you're gonna grab onto the hamstrings. If you don't, you're gonna just set them up here and push your palms out, all right? Okay, so we're gonna go low boat to half boat. See if you can keep this pillow here. Low, the sacrum touches, the legs extend, halfway. If you want deeper compression work, can you pull your knees to touch your shoulders? Oh yeah, feel that. Lower, exhale, your range of motion. How hard do you wanna work? Inhale, exhale, inhale, Exhale, one more time, inhale, exhale, hug the knees in. Maybe you can grab your feet, nice tight compression, let the pillow come down. It was supposed to fall. All right, take a moment, circle the neck around, wash those knees side to side, maybe that little half pigeon where you're just transferring, kind of loosening up the hip flexors, external internal rotation, breathing and let's take it onto our back. All right, so we're gonna take a moment to find our neutral spine, hug the heels in. Let's put this pillow in between the knees for right now, just to further activate through inner thighs. So we're gonna pretend it's a thigh master at times. Nice, and we're just gonna pull, push the knees together, plant the low back on the mat, pull the ribs in. Let's take a pelvic tilt and then an arched spine. Exhale. Hug the heels in, hug the hips towards the ribs. Inhale, arch. Open up the belly, the chest. Exhale, suction everything in, squeeze the inner thighs. And then arch, and then into that neutral position in between those two points. Belly is on, hips and ribs towards one another. Just a natural curve of the spine. Can you touch your heels maybe? Let's float the hips off, just maybe a few inches. Good. Then we're gonna prop the shoulders, walk them down, walk them down, 
Come onto your toes again. Now we're gonna squeeze the pillow like it's a thigh master from the 80s, yeah? Eight, seven, six. My mom's probably on here and my mom had a thigh master and I used to use it. Four, three, two, one. Roll up high now. Shine the heart to the sky. Roll down like a string of pearls. Melt, 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 melt. Peel off tippy toes. Squeeze the inner thighs together. A little pulse as the hips lift, the knees touch. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Pull the ribs and belly down. Hips up. Squeeze. Hold it. Tippy, tippy, tippy toes. Shine the heart through. Maybe walk the shoulders back. One big squeeze. Lower the heels. Walk the feet back out. Can you bring your heels down now? And pulse. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. You got this. One. Wiggle the shoulders out. Roll down, melting the vertebrae. Oh, pull the knees up to 90. All right, we're still squeezing the pillow in. Maybe lift it a little higher. Exhale, curl the chin, look at your belly button and peel the shoulders off the mat. Stretch the fingers long in front of you. Roll down, keep the knees exactly where they are, but drop and lift. All right, so it's just a lower and lift. Exhale, tuck the chin, zoop, zip up, shoulders off the mat, low back presses down, lower down. Keep the knees together, just tap or hover, and plug it in. One more time. Hold the upper body up. Exhale. Pull the belly in. Lower down. Hover those toes. Tap. Eight. Low back. Really firmly pressing down. Here's four. Here's three. Here's two. Here's one. Extend. Can we move the pillow higher? Okay. If this starts to feel like too much tension in the low back, doesn't feel good, bend the knees and put it back where it was. Let's do our leg drops. So we're gonna take the legs over, stack the hips, exhale, zip it up. We did this last week, but without a prop. So it's a little bit tougher this time. Take it over, inhale, exhale, squeeze it up. Can we press the shoulders down? So we're gonna bring the palms down and see if you can peel the hips off. If it doesn't happen, that's okay. We're not gonna throw our body weight over our head. We're gonna do this with control. All right, hands back out. Side to side. Exhale, lift slowly through water. Take it the other way, inhale. Exhale, squeeze up, bring the palms down or even tuck the thumbs under the low back. Press into the hands, use the core to pick the body up. Again, it doesn't have to look like mine. And then slow lower. This time we're gonna lower the legs as well. As low as you can safely plant the back down. The sacrum's pressing down and it doesn't bother the back, right? Firm the quads, firm the belly. It's hard, but it shouldn't be painful. Zip up, arms out. One more set. Legs over. Exhale, retract that weight. And over to the other side. See if you can stack the hips, press the shoulders down, use the fingers, use the hands, lift. Ooh, getting hard. Press the palms down, lift the spine off the mat. Your range of motion. And then lower down, feel the triceps activate as you slowly roll down the spine. Plant the sacrum down, that's the small of the back, and then hover as low as you can. If you'd like, you can come onto forearms and hold a little baby pulse for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, you hate me yet? Let go, one, pull it in. All right, so we played with that little catch sequence in bow, can we try it here? I, I do this with a ball, let's see if it works with a pillow. So we're gonna try to throw, catch it, engaging the inner thighs, core turns on, just having some fun, letting loose. One more time, throw, catch, oh, and come back in. All right, so now you get to actually use this as a pillow. Bring your palms behind it to support the neck, and then exhale, lift, and lower. All right, if that feels easy, second layer, knees up, 
over the hips, lower, hold it up, open like a butterfly, zip together. So my knees are spreading wide, my heels stay connected. Four, back to that thigh master. Three, shoulders off the mat. Two, and one, zip. All right, we're gonna take the pillow out. Take the pillow onto your left knee and see if you can bring your right elbow, right? Opposite, point the toe up, flex the toe down. Hand can be behind your head if you like. Point it up, flex it down, or it can be out. Point it up, flex it down. So your elbow and knee are pressing together, right? Firmly, you feel the obliques? I do, and switch. Take a moment. Pillows at your right thigh or knee. Left elbow pushes everything together. Right hand can extend. Hold it up, shoulder blade high. Point, flex. Point it up. Your range of motion, flex it down. Point it up, flex it down. Can we hold it? Lift another inch, pull the belly in, push the low back into the mat. Oh, take a moment. Wash those knees side to side. Ah, take the arms over the head. Come out of neutral, give your body a shake, wiggle, whatever it needs. Maybe you grab some water if you need it. Or if you're sweating, you could towel off. Big breath in, <sighs> big sigh out. All right, we're gonna do some balancing. We're gonna try to balance the pillow on the feet, okay? So, pulling the knees into the chest. Can you peel oh, the hips up, hips down, straighten the legs? Can we try that? Knees to chest. You lose points if your pillow drops. Just kidding. Hug the knees in. Lift the, sh the hips off the mat. Maybe the knees come towards your eyeballs. Lower down and it's okay. Again, it doesn't have to look like mine. Maybe you just lift a couple inches off the hips. Oh, one more time. These are hard. Hug the knees in like you're doing a squat. Peel the hips off the mat. Knees maybe come towards eyes. Slow control. Try not to lose your pillow. Squat, leg press. Okay, more traditional. We're gonna pass, I think this is this one. I used to call it dead bug, but I think it's actually just pass the, pill, pass the ball or pillow. Transfer, open. I learned dead bug was something else. A spinal balance on the back, but I always called this one dead bug. Open, you can twist it if you want. Transfer, and then maybe you twist it the other way to to hold it better. So we'll switch, open, right arm in front, open just one more. <sighs> Exhale, left arm in front, and open, nice job. Okay, feel in the belly. Take a moment here, maybe you just bridge for the stretch of it. Push the hips up, get a nice stretch through the hip flexors and quads. Maybe support the hands under the back. Just for the stretch, breathe here, open everything, and then lower yourself down. All right, we're gonna go back to the balance, and we're gonna try to hold it on one foot. So, I'm gonna get a little tricky. The other leg is gonna circle, and of course you can put the pillow down if you're like, this is not happening for me. Circle the leg, neutral spine, sacrum grounding, maybe a little tiny space in the low back, but mostly you're focused on hips to ribs. Good, exhale, circle the leg. All right, even if that knee is bent, if you can't straighten, that's okay. Other way, three. This really forces you to do this right, or you're gonna drop the pillow. And one. Can we lower down and lift up? Pulse, four, three. I can't believe my pillow stay. One. Transfer. Can we transfer without hands? I don't know. Kind of making this up as I go because I wanted to use a prop. All right. Did I do it? No. Use your hands if you need it. I did. Lower back down. All right. Straighten out the leg as best you can. Activate from hips to toes. Quad muscles on. And don't be afraid to drop the pillow or ditch the pillow accordingly. Circle through water, three circles, one direction. <laughs> Exhale, Woo. and then the other way. Sweep it around, <sighs> sweep it around. I'm kind of digging this one. It's making me work really hard. Usually these are kind of easy. Exhale, circle. Can we hold that leg down and lift, making an L shape? 
All right, we're gonna grab the pillow and we're gonna crop twist it under like a figure eight. Straight leg stretches. <sighs> Exhale each one. <sighs> eight, seven, oops, six, five, four, three, two, one. Take your pillow and just relax. <sighs> Hug the knees in. Make little circles on the spine like you're trying to massage the back into the mat one way and then the other way. All right, we're gonna roll like a ball to get us back up. Hug the, the pillow in between the knees and start to gather momentum and see if you can balance at the top, all right? So you can hold on or you can just activate the legs to squeeze the pillow and stretch the arms long. Let's try three. Let's try two. Exhale up. And let's try one more. Hold it up. All right, can we try this with straight legs? Just an option, you don't have to take it there. It's gonna get hard. So like a teaser, we're gonna imprint the spine and then see if we can balance at the top, all right? Roll down. Exhale up, one more. Oh, almost lost it. Inhale. Exhale. Squeeze everything. Make this all out effort for three. Two, one, <sighs> cross the legs, let the hips find some ease. Uh, side body. So let's go ahead and come onto the knees, all right? Stretch the chest open, grab the hands behind the back, interlace the fingers, and shine the heart up. Tuck the chin down. The hands will just kind of land on the small of the back. And then bind and pull the heart open. And then just put the hands, stack them. <sighs> One more time, bind, stretch the heart open. A lot of work we did for that core. And then stack the palms on the small of the back and breathe here. All right, lifting up to kneeling position. Let's take our pillow. We'll do one little set of um, hip extensions. We're gonna lean back, lean forward. Push the palms forward and just lean the body. It's like you're coming into a 45 degree lean. Just something to grab onto, squeeze, feel the quads, Feel the belly plugging it and lift. Two more like that. Lean back, hold it. Find your edge. Make your quads work and lift. Make your core work, hold. Hips up, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Nice, let's open up the knees and just lift one arm, the arm up or you can even drop it back and allow that chest and shoulder to open. If you can't reach, you can hug the heel, the toes under so you can grab the heel or press into the small of the back. So the weight of the pillow kind of opens up the chest and shoulder. Switch, reach back. See if you can maybe tuck the heel, grab for, uh, tuck the toes, grab for the heel. Let the elbow fall back. Push the hips forward, or you're up here on the sacrum, and bring it down. All right, so we're gonna go into some side plank, really quick side body work. Let's try balancing to get there. So. Pull the belly in, pull the ribs in. Can we hover one knee off the mat? It's okay to fall. You probably be, you were probably falling through the whole hour. Balance, balance, extend. Did we get there? All right, take the pillow and the top arm and the bottom arm reaches the mat. Push the hips forward, get a nice side body stretch. Maybe even float the pillow over and then lift it. So we're gonna thread the needle and you're gonna bring the pillow in between the open space, tuck it through, and then sweep it on out, all right? This is the modification. So if this feels easy to you, let's go ahead and bring the bottom knee back. Thread the needle and then zip it up. So there's two variations we can try. We can just keep the body very still or we can thread the needle and raise the hips, push the mat forward, and then lift it. All right, so let's try one of each. Thread the arm, the hips kind of twist down and up, or thread the needle, the hips twist down, but the hips and tailbone lift up. Yeah, like an elephant trunk reaching through, and then lift. Mermaid, we're gonna lower the hips down. This works perfectly fine on the knee with the modification. And then zip up. Modified, sit on the heel, 
push the hips forward one more time. Either way, modified or in your side plank. Hold it here. We're gonna drop the pillow under the side body so we can land on it, all right? Take your elbow and make it a forearm and then lift the legs as high as you can. Feels really nice because you have some padding here. See if you can stack the hips. The top hand can press into the mat and we can stack the hips and knees, all right? And we're gonna try to extend the bottom arm out, pull the belly in. Maybe the top arm, floppy fish balance. Ho! Oh. Bring the top arm down. Can we push? So you're gonna feel this in the tricep, tricep and the shoulder and lower. Maybe you lift everything and lower. A couple more, zip. Top arm is pressing away from the earth to get your body to lift. All right, make your pillow, now lift the legs. Flutter kick, scissor, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pull the knees together and then land them in front of the hips. Back to that clamshell action. Open, close. Your head gets to rest. We open adductors, outer thigh, inner thigh. Open, fingertips can come down. Eight, seven, six, five. Here's your four and three and two. Last thing we're gonna do, we're gonna tap our knee to elbow and then press through water, diagonal. Inhale, or you can thread the knee under the arm exhale. So you tap your elbow or you thread it through and you push away. Inhale. Last one. Pull it in. Push away. Good. Hold it there. Start to walk your way up. Can we hold this abduction of the leg? We float it through. Step on it. All right. Remember in the beginning we did balancing stick. We're going to try to shift our weight and take a quick balancing stick. Breathe. Re-extend through the spine. Neck. Long, flex out the back foot, and then come back down. You can move your pillow or you could just land on it. Kneeling, kneeling. <sighs> Inhale, up, exhale. All right, we're gonna finish up. Lift up through straight spine. Remember how we got there? We tried to balance. Hover the knee, play around with it. Play in space, have fun. Move, 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 balance, all core. And then when you're ready, try to swing it out to the side. Good, so we're gonna take everything up to your stack. Big breath, I don't know if I stretched it over, but I'm gonna take a stretch. And then we'll grab the pillow so the top hand can stay up. Knee under hip, wrist under shoulder, push the earth away. Thread the needle, tuck it through the open space. See if you can fit it through there, <laughs> exhale up. Remember, this is the modification with the knee down. You're gonna plant this Extended leg out. If you want to make this harder, we're going to step the bottom knee, the bottom foot out under, and we'll thread it through here. All right, so we can start to make these moves bigger by dropping the hips towards the earth. And then on the other one, we'll take the hips down, but we'll lift the tailbone up. All right, just some options. You can be modified on the knees as well. Thread under, <sighs> exhale, strong firm body, thread through. <sighs> Last time, thread under, <sighs> and then elephant trunk, tailbone lifts, arm floats through, and then we take our mermaid, hips down. I'll show you the modification. It's a lot on that shoulder, I know. So you gotta be really strong through the core. Modified, touch down. Squeeze up, inhale down, <sighs> exhale up. Last time, lower down, lift it up. Here we get to drop our pillow under our body and then find ourselves on it, okay? Make a little forearm pillow, head gets to rest, hips stay stacked, really important. It's easy to kind of roll off the back or front, stack the hips, press the pop, top arm down, extend those legs, all right? Breathe, can we lift the legs? Can we plug the belly in even more? Firm the quads, firm everything, relax the neck. Scissor kick, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Pull the feet back, hold it. Maybe try this floppy fish balance where we try to get the bottom shoulder, oh, shoulder and legs off, three, two, one. Take that top arm down, 
and then push away. All right, so tricep shoulder, land. Push the floor away, it doesn't have to be high. Any little movement here, you're gonna feel that tricep working, the shoulders push away. One more time, press the earth away. Ah. One more down, take a moment to pull those knees in. Okay, I promise we're almost done. When you're there, top fingertips maybe, we'll start to open, close. External rotation on the hip, squeeze it in. Feel the outer thighs working hard to pull the knee away, pry it, pull it down, make it effort. Four, three, make all your effort. Two, this is it. And one, push the palm down, tap the knee in, press it like you're going 45 degrees diagonal, almost like you're karate chopping, tuck it in, Push away, so a little bit harder. See if you can pull the knee and thread it through the arm. <sighs> Push away. Thread the knee, compression knee to the chest. <sighs> Push away. We have three. <sighs> we have two. <sighs> we have one. Hold it there. All right, we're gonna make our way up. Walk it up, walk it up. Oh my gosh, how's that outer thigh? How's your core? Lift, step on it. Come onto the feet, press your palms down at center, float your way to balancing stick, crown of the headboard, hip square, find all your strength here, muster it up, inhale, exhale, stand up, swing out, like you're giving yourself a big hug. You can start to pivot on the ball of the foot, bring your knee with you. Nice work, all right, lift the arms and arch the back as you lift the chest up, and then halfway fold. Crown of the head forward, squeeze the belly in. Now grab your elbows over the head, soften the knees, and let your body hang. If you have your pillow and you want to use it, you can use it right here. If, you're, if you can reach it, take a moment. Ragdoll it up. Shrug those shoulders a few times. Ugh. Roll the neck out a few times, one way, the other way. Let your head just kind of hang or even maybe assist it for a breath. <sighs> Gentle pull. You guys did awesome, I'm sure. I can't see you, but I know you did. Inhale up. Here's where we're gonna flush the spine and take a bow, feet hip width apart, bounce. And then <sighs> bounce, bounce. And then <sighs> take your bow. Pry the heart open last time. Take your bow. And I want to say thank you so much for joining me. Um, I have so much fun getting out of my house and doing this for you guys. Leave me any comments. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to hear how it went. If it was hard, easy. I'm sure it was hard. I'm always hard. Lots of love. I'll see you. Bye.